C. Negative 12. Does everybody understand A, B, and C? Yes. Okay, so it's a matter of writing the stuff in the formula. So the negative goes there. Okay, write down the negative. We have a B. What's our B value? 11. 11. Everywhere for the letters, and you can even put this in your formula. Put parentheses around all these little letters. Do we have to do that? So if you don't, and you will have to on the calculator, if you don't, then it's going to look like a minus rather than a times because they're right next to each other. So I would absolutely suggest it. You will never go wrong by using it. But if you forget it one time, then you go wrong. Okay, so uh, 11, and we can say plus or minus. What comes next in our formula? B, what's our B? 11, 11 squared minus shit. four, what's our A? Okay, one. one, what's our C? Negative 14. Negative 14, all over two, and what's our A? One. one. No. But to me, writing it out is the hardest part. Okay, I'm just a guy. Okay, so you can take a calculator. Everybody come get one because you're going to need one. Can't do it without it. I know what that means. I don't got it from the treaty. It's okay. Okay, so Everything underneath the square root is what you can plug into your calculator. Okay, so we can say 11 squared minus 4 parenthesis 1 and then that negative 14 in parentheses. See what you get. Take a second and type it in. If you're not typing it in, then that's a problem because you're not going to know how to do it. Rodney, what are you doing? You can't use that calculator. Rodney, there is some up here. 177. Yeah, that's what I got. 177. Okay, good. Okay, so for on this outside, then you type something wrong. Okay, well, on this outside, what is this minus and an 11? If, as long as there's not two negatives there, what's a negative negative? Positive. So you can just write negative 11 for the outside, okay? What did we get for underneath the square root? 177. 177. That all simplified to 177. And then what are you going to have on the bottom? What's 2 times 1? One? 1, 2. two. two. Okay, so this part is going to be the same for every single problem. However, you need to check and see if a square root of 177 simplifies or not. So put in square root 177. See, does that simplify or not? Where's the one go? No, it's still 177. It's still 177? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then that means that this is your answer. Mm. Where's the one go? What one? What's two times one? Two, so that's a little long Okay? So, because this does not simplify, that means we can't go any further, and so we can just stop and circle our answer. Okay? If this 177 simplifies, then we can simplify a little bit more, not much. So, would you erase it if it simplifies? Would you erase 177 if it simplifies? Yeah, put whatever number there. So, if it was 100, and no, let's do What's the square root of 16? Four, so then it would be eleven plus or minus four over two. Okay, look at three. What's our a? Uh, B. One. Negative one. Negative, negative one. What's our c? 
negative 42. Okay, we can start plugging, follow along with your formula. So you got negative b, what's our b? One. Not negative mm -hmm. one, plus or minus the square root. Okay, we need b squared, what's b? Mm -hmm. Not negative one. Negative one. Squared. Um, yep, so we gotta say, and this is why parentheses matter, okay? Because when you're squaring with negatives and stuff like that, so use the damn parentheses. Minus four, what's our a? Mm -hmm. One c. Uh, all over two times our a. What's our a? One. One. Wait, so the four is part of the formula. Yes, the four is part of the formula. Okay, everything underneath the square root is what we can type in. The calculator. Type all that in, see what you get. What'd you get? 169. 169? Okay, so over here on the outside, what's a negative negative? Positive. Positive. So you're just going to have a 1 on the outside. We got plus or minus. And what did you say for underneath the square root? 169 over 2 times 1? 2. 2. Does the square root of 169 simplify? Yeah. It does? Yeah, to 19. To 19? No, 13. 13? 13? Okay, so that means also we could simplify and we are going to still have 1 plus or minus 13 over 2. What's the plus or minus mean? So I'm here right there. What that means, so yesterday when we did square roots, right, it had a plus answer and a minus answer. When we do factoring, there's always a plus answer and a minus answer. So on these, there's going to be a plus answer and a minus answer. Now, I'm going to show you how to type them in a calculator, which means you can write this twice. 1 plus 13 over 2 and a 1 minus 13 over 2. Okay, so hit that fraction button on your calculator and do each of these and you should get a whole number. Okay, but some of you guys aren't going to need to. What is 1 plus 13? 14. Divided by 2? 7. 7. Okay, 1 minus 13? 12. Negative 12 divided by 2? Negative 6. Negative 6. Okay, and so these two are going to be our two answers. So you would either stop right here or you have to keep going all the way down to here. Okay, and those are the two differences. One means it's a rational number, meaning it's a whole number that looks right. The other one is going to be an irrational number. It's because that square root doesn't simplify. You was writing it down below? Yeah, I did, yeah, I did on the first round. Oh. Can I scroll? Okay, yeah. look at five. What's our A? Three. Three. B. Negative, negative four. C. One. 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 Okay, so we got negative B. What's our B? Negative four. Negative four plus or minus square root of B squared. What's our B? Negative four, negative four squared minus four times our A. Three times our C. One all over two times our a, which is three. See, it's really not that bad. It'll take you a couple, but. Four. You got four for underneath the square root. Okay, what's this minus minus gonna make? A positive. A positive four plus or minus square root of four. Two. Yeah. Is, you got a four for underneath here? Oh, yeah. Over what? What's gonna be on the bottom? Two. What's gonna be on the bottom? Six. 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 Okay. Now, what's a square root of four? Two. Two. So we can rewrite this part. Um, a square root of four is really two. So we got 
four plus or minus two over six. Okay, now what do we do? Yeah, so technically you need to kind of write it twice. So you'd say four plus two over six and a four minus two over six. Okay, and you can type those in on the calculator. If you don't know how to do it, then uh, hit that fraction button and you can type the way it looks. Okay, but what's four plus two? Six divided by six. One. Four minus two? Two. Over six. Two over six? Yeah, it's two over six, okay? So some of these you might need to use your calculator on, okay? But it's two over six. Okay, the answer key would probably say one third because two over six simplifies, okay? And if you do it on the calculator, it's gonna give you that simplified answer. Okay, look at seven. What's our A? Four. Four B. C. Negative 143. Okay, so we got negative B plus or minus uh, four squared minus four times our A, which is also four, times our C, which is negative 143 all over two times our A, which is four. Okay, 